Even her name, her middle name is Rihanna. And her name, she is named after a Welch witch. A Welch goddess slash witch called Rihanna. Rihanna, Rihanna came from Barbados. Uh, she is one of the best selling artists of all time. She has sold 250 million records. She is worth one billion United States dollars. As a matter of fact, I'm a little off. She's worth more than that now. Not because of her music, actually, but because she's also, uh, she sells cosmetics, Fenty products. But the bottom line is, even her name, her middle name is Rihanna. And her name, she is named after a Welch witch. A Welch goddess slash witch called Rihanna. So already from her childhood she was connected. Probably without her even knowing. And let me just mention this. Most of the people that I'm mentioning here don't know what they're in. Some of them know what they're in. But some of them do not know. Uh, but witchcraft is pushed through people like her and Lady Gaga. Who they are connected to wicked secret societies that use them to push an agenda. Next slide. These girls, they, they are abusing them, for example, not only to push witchcraft, but the ones that I have up here now are designed to bring young people into sexual immorality. Cardi B, Megan the Stallion, Doja Cat, Nicki Minaj, and the new princess Ice Spice of hip hop. Understand that these people that we have here are people that are being utilized by powerful spirits of witchcraft. Are you hearing the preacher? The people that do their videos, I read something on one of the directors of the videos that works with most of these individuals. The people that craft these videos are occultists that use witchcraft in the videos to get your attention. And I'm gonna tell you how in a second. But the witchcraft comes through in the music. They cast spells over the albums before they release the albums. So that by the time you start listening to the album, you can't even get the songs out of your head. Let's keep it real, church. How many in here can remember stuff that you heard when you were 10? You can still pull up the lyrics right now. They're attached to you. That's how powerful music is.